Hello everyone, welcome in Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah with part of the Life and Stuff portion of the channel. And today, courtesy of jppepperseeds.com, Jimmy Pickles Pepper channel, he will be linked up there, he'll be linked down below, and I'll be talking about him because he has sent me some pepper powders to try. Now he does not sell pepper powders, nay nay. He sells isolated seeds. This is the powder we'll be doing today, the Mustard Ghost. Um, you can get his seeds on his website. I have his website pulled up right now over here, which you can't see, but I can point at it. You know, it's right there. I promise. Um, right now for 10 seeds, it is $5.49 plus shipping. And he always sends extras. You get extra seeds in the packet and he sends extras along with it. So always a good deal from Jimmy Pickles. Now, he does not sell the powders at all, but if you grow the peppers, you can make your own powders. I have learned this over the past couple of months of hanging out with these pepper people. Basically, you grow the peppers, you dehydrate them, you grind those suckers up, boom, you have powders to add to your seasoning blends, just to sprinkle a little bit here and there. You don't have to do what a lot of the crazy chili heads do, which is like take a spoonful and go, oh my, boop, all at once in their mouth. No. I mean, if you want to, sure. Have at it. You do you, boo. But you can just put a little on your food and really enjoy it. Somebody else who's been doing these pepper tastings of different varieties at different times is Joe, Garden State Gardener. And he's doing his on pierogies, which is a lot of fun. Love me some pierogies. He's doing his on Mondays. Mine come out on Wednesdays. Um, but yeah, how I do mine, <clears throat> pardon me, because I'm not a chili head, although some people say I'm becoming one. Among other things that I am, apparently that's another thing that's happening. Oh, the hair is up and I'm already hot and sweaty today. It warmed up around here in Northeast Georgia. And by warmed up, I mean it got into the 70s. I've been like living for 40s and 50s. And then it got into the 70s and I'm like, oh, I'm gonna die. It's so hot. Yeah, I'm a little dramatic sometimes. Anyway, I've got the spoon in here because I, I opened it up because everything is Deborah Proof Packaging. And I took the spoon and I sprinkled some on some crackers. And I have a friend here who's going to be trying them with me, but not on camera because he's just being shy today. And um, there we go. We have some with a little bit of the powder on there. And you can see that this is a generic not Ritz cracker and some generic not Philadelphia cream cheese. A little bit of this powder. And then we have some with medium amounts on there, a little more sprinklage on there. And then some with a butt ton of it right there. And that's a butt ton for us, not other people. And to, to change things up a little bit, um, some cream cheese and some grape jelly, some Smucka's grape jelly, and a little bit of the pepper on that to see what it tastes like with something sweet. And also two plain crackers with just the cream cheese for a palate cleanser. I do have a big old glass of milk here. Uh, Slingshot, the ultimate joyride. I have gotten to drive one before. I don't own one. I'm not in that kind of money bracket, trust me on that, but they are fun. But I got a mug, or a cup rather. Eh, okay. So, here we go. Again, by the way, you will hear uh, Jimmy, jbpepperseeds.com, you will hear him talk about isolated seeds. Let me tell you what that means in like layman's Captain Dummy terms, okay? That means that when he grows his peppers for seeds, he keeps them isolated in a way that universities do, that governments do. They approve of this. It's with special isolation nets so that uh, these self-pollinating things can't just drift from one to another and cross-pollinate. It's one thing when you're trying to make a mix of different things, putting them together, crossing this with this, you know, T-Rex with a shark and make big shark NATO with little arms. I don't know. But it's another thing entirely when you don't want that to happen and you want to have the mustard ghost. By the way, the Mustard Ghost, I did look it up just because I was curious. It says this is from, the origin of this is from Bangladesh. It's called a Super Hot. Everybody says it's a Super Hot. What is this not chili head doing trying the Super Hot? I don't know. Okay. Um, by the way, order the seeds. Try it out. Try growing them. Even me, someone who has never grown things before, I have some seeds that I bought from Jimmy that I just said, what the heck, I'll try it. Everything came up. Everything. That's saying something, okay? No, no, I didn't have hundreds of plants or anything. Y'all look at my regular videos. You can see what's come up and what has. And I also have some tomatoes in there, which weren't from Jimmy Pickles. But his stuff came up. And 
he's a good guy and he's he's a goofball he is a goofball but he's a good businessman and he works very very hard order some seeds he he also has seeds that are not hot okay i ordered ones that are sweet no heat i have some <laughs> that are no heat i have some that are low heat and i have some of the freebies that are hot that i'm growing too because i'm a little crazy but um yeah you can get all kinds of seeds from him as far as peppers go you should see his organization system sometimes in his videos you'll see and he's got drawers and files full of seeds and stuff it's really cool you know the office supply geek in me just wants to look around and go wow because it's all filed the little drawers and everything yeah you know whatever floats your boat right that floats my boat little little drawers full of little things anyhow i've been kind of avoiding this because i think this is going to be hot af but uh your girl's gonna do it okay let us start with the not much at all on there and the way i do it is i turn it upside down so that the pepper gets right on my tongue and we try it out <laughs> and my friend over here tried to just put cream cheese on his shirt and absorb it that way it doesn't work that way you have to put it inside your face hole okay With that little bit, I'm getting a little. Just a little, because there wasn't much on there. Little tingly bits around the back of my tongue. But there wasn't enough to give me any kind of a punch yet. And I'm staring at that plate kind of with a side eye because I know what's coming. I know what's coming. All right, but that wasn't bad. There was just a little hint of, <laughs> we're out here. We're coming for you. <laughs> I've had a lot of caffeine. If you saw Monday's tea video, you'll know what tea I just had a little while ago. And you'll know why I am so hyper. Yes, I record things on Sundays because I work a lot. Anyhow, moving on to numero dos. More than twice as much. Still got some cream cheese, still got some not ribs. Let's put this in my face hole. a little bit of sharpness those scorpions they really do it's like stinging you you know pew, 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 on your tongue but it's not making me sweat yet it's just like this hi we're hot and we're here to poke fun at your tongue what do you think uh, the heat builds yeah oh some just got me on the bottoms of my fat cheeks on the inside, but the inside, not the outside. Just a little bit around the gums and stuff where all that cream cheese was living, okay? Ghost. Ghost. It's ghost. It, oh, ghost. Sneak it upon you. Okay. <clears throat> oh, <clears throat> it just hit the back of my throat because there must have been some in there and then I cleared my throat and it went in and in. Yeah, we'll see if I can not cough up a lung. We're going to try that. All right, I'm ready for the next one. How do you have so much less on yours than I do? You want some more? Here. No, no, no. Here, just. Oh, mine's all stuck. Nah, I got it. Here. No, I got it. You eat yours. I'm a big girl. I'm a very big girl. Okay. Here we go. It does take a minute because I could feel the grit of the powder on my tongue from, you know, because I put it right there. And at first, it's like, eh, that ain't nothing, nothing but a thing, you know, it's leading back doing this. But I know it's going to sneak up behind me and go, gotcha! <laughs> and I swallowed that big bunch, so my gut's probably going to be going, you ate hot peppers, or something. My mouth was getting warm. And it is building. Roof of my mouth in the back is speaking to me. I mean, not literally, because that would be weird to have a little voice in there going, beep, 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 you know. But, and of course, I have this image 
of in Total Recall, not the remake of Total Recall, but the original one with Schwarzenegger, with, you know, the guy that pops out of his stomach and, you know. Sorry. <laughs> That's where my head goes. And this is not an effect of the peppers. This is more the effect of the tea, probably, with the caffeine, because I'm like, woo! But yeah, that's my head on the reg, okay? On the reg. All right. So do we want to do spoons? Sure. All right. And when I say do spoons, I'm not talking about the spoons of the 70s, okay? Because I know some of y'all are that old and remember that. No, no little silver spoons. No long pinky nails, okay? No white powder. No white powder. Oh, great. See if I can get into this. You closed it. Did I close it? Yeah. Jesus. All right, you open it because it's Deborah Proof Packaging. I am I just can't open things. I'm like, derp, I can't do it. I might as well have T-Rex arms, but I don't. I have like super long arms and bingo wings. Ooh. Uh, did you get, oh, you got it open. Awesome. All right. Hello. I can open jars. That I can do, but little things like this now. All right, we're not going to do much because this is kind of stingy poo. All right. You might want to move it to the end before you shove it in your face. <laughs> Clearing off what was still on that spoon from sprinkling. I didn't want to have an extra dose. Get out. No, no, we ain't doing that much. All right. Right on the tongue. My mouth is watering a lot. <laughs> I'm more liable to drown on my own spit than anything else. It's been known to happen to me. I mean, like, wow, super saliva. Hello. <clears throat> and then you swallow and it goes down your throat with all the hot stuff. But you really do get the essence and flavor of that pepper, which is actually quite nice. Now, I'm going to have some plain cream cheese cracker. Mostly just the cream cheese. I do have some milk that I will swish in my mouth a little bit later. But. And yes, it's fruity. I know everybody says it's fruity. But it does have that fruity note to it. But it's hot. Don't let anybody fool you. This is hot. Not a chili head. Not a chili head. Okay. All right. And I do have one more um, cracker to eat. There is very little bit, kind of like the first spoon of pepper on there, but with grape jelly and cream cheese. It's dessert. That sweet plays nicely with the heat. It really does. Mm, my gums are hot. So that I can speak. <laughs> okay. Um, that was mustard ghost, y'all. Yes, it's still hot. It's still building. My mouth is still getting warmer. So I'll be dealing with this for a while. I don't think it's going to be the bring tears and snot like that one kind, but oh, I could be wrong. It just hit me again over here. It went wham, wham, wham. Mm. But get your seeds, okay? Not taking big gulps though, just a little bit of my mouth to cool it. Um, JPPepperSeeds.com, grow you some peppers. If you like the hots and the super hots, grow those. If you like the no heats or the sweets or just the little hots, grow those. He's got all kinds of isolated seeds. So the seeds you get, you know are going to grow into what they actually are supposed to be. Check him out. Check me out for more of my different videos. I have crochet stuff. I have apparently burn your face stuff. I have snack stuff. Um, I have tea stuff. I have all kinds of stuff. I have hauls. One of that's coming up too. And uh, I do thank you for coming around. Thank you, Pepper community, for supporting me. I appreciate you. And thank you, crochet community, for supporting me. I appreciate you too. Everybody is welcome here, unless you're a hater. If you're a hater, go on. Go on with you. <laughs> Thanks, y'all. See you soon.